Frank Liddell was born on the 28th of December, 1919, in rural Duluth, a small town in Gwinnett County, Georgia. He was the fourth of eight children and grew up during the Great Depression on a farm which had been in the family since 1820. During the Depression, while still attending school, he worked on his father's farm. Frank enjoyed growing up on the farm and found it very interesting. Frank attended Norcross High School and graduated in 1938. Shortly after graduation, he worked at a food processing plant in Atlanta, Georgia before joining the Army in 1942. Frank enlisted just six months after Pearl Harbor on 18 June 1942 at Fort McPherson in Atlanta. He knew he would be drafted and wanted to choose his branch of service. He received his basic training at Camp Howes, Texas. Camp Howes ran an Army specialized training program. In this program, the Army trained soldiers to have technical skills and create a pool of officers. At Camp House, Frank received training in the use of rifles and in squad leadership. While at the camp, Frank earned the rank of Buck Sergeant. Right before leaving the U.S. on furlough, Frank married his fiancée, Pearl Louise Barlow. As Frank embarked on the Queen Mary, one of the two biggest troop ships used during World War II, he recalled the conditions on board the ship. We were housed all over the ship. I was not in a cabin or even a bed or a cot, but right on the deck. There were huge numbers of us on board, and there were four dining areas. The quality of food did not make an impression. Thank God I was never seasick then. Once the ship arrived in Glasgow, Scotland, Frank was transported by rail to the south of England to get ready for transport to France. During this trip, he saw many bomb cities, which must have been a horrible sight just arriving as new fresh troops with little to no experience. Frank joined the 99th Infantry Division as a replacement soldier after the Battle of the Bulge, which was the division's baptism of fire in late December 1944 through early January 1945. Frank's first experience in combat came in the beginning of March 1945 in the effort to take the town of Remagen. During the fighting for the Ludendorff Bridge, his staff sergeant got killed and Frank got promoted to squad leader. The 99th was the first division to cross the Rhine via the Remagen Railroad Bridge. Later, after the bridge collapsed soon after it was taken, troops crossed by pontoon bridges. We crossed at night at intervals due to the partial destruction of the bridge. There was a hole that a few of us at the time had to go around and it had to be at night because the enemy had a machine gun trained on that area. While advancing through Germany, Frank arrived at the town of Wetzlar, he recalls. We took the town of Wetzlar, which had the world's famous Leica camera factory. I did manage to get a camera from the Leica factory. Frank also saw the thousands and thousands of soldiers doing the Ruha pocket cleanup, where many German companies surrendered to the regiment, one of them the 130th Panzer Lair Division in the town of Altina. In every town and village, white flags waved from the housetops. It seemed people were happy to see us. We continued clearing town after town. Although Frank's unit was not involved in the liberation of some of the concentration camps, he spoke of liberating some GIs from a cave and from a train. The location of these events have not yet been verified and is part of ongoing research from the 99th Infantry Division Historical Society. Frank was in three major battles, the Remagen Bridgehead, Ruhr Valley, and the Rhineland, which included four river crossings under combat. After the war, Frank picked up his life again with his wife Pearl Louise and began a career with Georgia Power. <laughs>